This is a video tour for the gallery I have up at the Octagon Center for the Arts in Ames, Iowa. This is for Composition of Line. This is all of my work that I have framed on their walls. They did a fantastic job of putting everything up. There's about 45, 47 pieces displayed on the walls here, ranging in size from 8 by 10s to uh, 36 by 24. I wanted to make sure to document this as well as I could, because this is a pretty big monumental moment for me. Having my work, a solo show, at an art gallery is a, is a really big, big step for me. So I wanted everybody to be able to see it that couldn't attend to the open or be in town to, to see it while it's up. Such as my mom. She lives in Canada, so she can't see it. This is all of my framed pieces currently. Um, I think 48 is the actual count. Um, I have maybe 75 more in portfolios at home. Um, someday it would be nice to get more of them framed, but I think 45, 48, that's a, that's a very respectable number. This body of work uh, ranges in dates from 2012, 2013, all the way up to current, to present, 2024. It's really enjoyable seeing the progression of work, of style, and of technique from that, those first few drawings that I have all the way up to current. This big one on the left is a good example. That one is very old, 2013 I want to say. I want to do more of these big pieces that you see in the middle, the green one. But they take a lot of extra work and time to fabricate. This was a fantastic display, having the, the red one in the back there. And then all of the small pieces lining up to it. It was, it was really striking. It's, it's really nice to see that. Before I forget, I need to give a little bit of history for the Octagon. The Octagon Center for the Arts was founded in the 1960s by four women. It's named the Octagon because it was originally founded in an octagonal, hundred-year-old house. And as it gained popularity and it grew and outgrew several different locations, it is now on Douglas here in Ames, Iowa, which is also a historic building. I believe it is the, uh, the old Freemason Temple. The Octagon hosts classes as well as uh, every year the Octagon Art Festival, which happens at the, the end of September. I'm skipping over and paraphrasing quite a bit of their history, but um, that's what the internet is for. So if you feel like checking them out, OctagonCenterForTheArts.com, and you can see their, their history and the classes and other things that they offer. I took pictures of everything on the walls as well, just for better records but I could do a, another one of these virtual tours with just pictures and give descriptions of each and every one of these if, if we want. That might be a long video, um, it might be worthwhile, so just let me know in the comments below if that's something that anyone's interested in. I'm so extremely grateful for this opportunity. Um, it's been a long time coming, I've wanted to be in this space for a very long time, so. I appreciate it more than, than anyone can know. Uh, thank you for all of, all of the support and for watching.